I stand strong in everything I said. The heated battle between the Washington Elementary School District and Arizona Christian University has gone from the school board chambers to federal court. ACU has filed a lawsuit claiming religious discrimination, accusing board members of ending its relationship with ACU based on its religious beliefs. Today, a federal judge heard arguments from both sides. We're not here about a disputed contract. It's not about that at all. We're not even here about what the contract should look like. The point is, is that when you terminate a contract for an unconstitutional reason, when you do so because you say, I don't like what your beliefs are, so I'm not, I don't have a legal relationship with you, that's discrimination. A moment and really pause about where our values lie. Back in February, board members in the West Valley School District voted unanimously to stop bringing in student teachers from the private religious college, stating the district's values don't align with ACU. ACU instructs students and faculty to spread their religious beliefs and requires them to sign a statement of faith that has anti-LGBTQ principles. The decision led to widespread protests and became national news. School District Attorney Robert Hawes told the judge today, the district doesn't want any student with two dads to feel shame by a teacher. The board has an obligation to not only make sure religious rights are honored, but to make sure other rights are honored, and that includes LGBTQ rights. ACU attorneys were in court Tuesday asking for an immediate injunction that would require the school district to accept teacher students for another year. We're hopeful the court will grant the injunction and that's for the immediacy of making sure all the scheduling gets set for student teaching in the fall, uh, but the case will continue regardless of whether the injunction is granted or not. Now, today's hearing was not about the lawsuit. It was specifically about Arizona Christian University asking the judge to immediately require Washington Elementary to start accepting student teachers again while the lawsuit moves forward. The judge is expected to make a ruling in the next couple of days. So, Jason, did this start with any specific complaints against any of those student teachers? Not that we're hearing. We haven't heard about any reported complaints, and that's one of the things ACU attorneys brought up, that there have not been any past issues with student teachers pushing their beliefs onto students. The challenge here is whether the courts have legal authority to force parties into a contract to together if one side doesn't want it. Jason Berry, thank you so much for that.